Okay, what's up, guys? This will be How to Dominate, episode 17. Today we're going to be playing Shaco. I've got a lot of requests um, for people to, you know, people wanted me to do a How to Dominate on Shaco, mainly because this is one of my original champions. This is the first champion that I ever played um, to high rank. And yeah, I want to just give you guys a little, you know, some tips about how to play it. Uh, so 30 seconds in is when you start pressing box, uh, placing boxes. On red side, I like to do this um, start where you put two boxes on red, two boxes on golems, and then you, um, yeah, you do red and then golems, then you go to crab afterwards. So that's the start that we're going to be going for here. I'm going to put my second box here just because um, I want these boxes to uh, be up as soon as possible. And in this situation where I'm late, this is like an easier box to drop because I'm going to start on this camp. For runes, Dark Harvest, Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, Relentless Hunter, Absolute Focus, and Water Walking. So pretty standard runes. Going to put this box here now and start it. And when you do this camp, you want to be trying to backstab as much as possible. So here, I let it aggro that thing, backstab it, and go over, deceive over to my golems. Take one hit, and then back off, and then I'm going to drop a second box, and then rotate my autos in between. If you look at what I'm doing, I'm trying to get as many backstabs off as possible. It's really important that you get backstabs off because that's what um, gives you the most amount of uh, damage when you're clearing. So that was a really successful uh, camp. You want to leave one of the golems. Like you only need, you only need two of the, of, or four of the minis, two of the medium ones, and then one of the large ones to get level three off this. So that is what we're doing here. You want to kite the crab back and forth into your box because that just gives you the, yeah, the highest amount of damage on it. He started topside, so I'm going to walk to my own topside and then check my blue buff to see if that's there. We didn't get a ward, which is unfortunate, but shit happens. High chance that he goes for my blue. If he's on it, I'll just fight him for it. He did not go for my blue, so I'm going to start it off here. can also look for a top gank at some point. Consider that. Yeah, so in between autos, you'll see me move to the back of the buff, and that will allow me to uh, get as much damage off as I can. He's dead. Okay, so I put the box in front of him to try to cut him off there. Take the um, soul there. So I got all the souls. When you have Dark Harvest, you want to take as many souls as possible. It's a pretty easy gank for me. He was trying to push up and back, and my rumble got on him. So I just uh, played to cut him off there. If he was, if he would have flashed, I would have been able to catch him anyway, which is why he didn't flash. Okay, so we are going to finish our clear here. We want to get 1050 because that gives me my Tiamat. Tiamat is essential to clearing with Shaco. Like, you need to have this item in a lot of situations to clear. My team actually got first blood when I was setting up the commentary. I didn't even notice until right now, but we'll take it. This guy has four stacks on Dark Seal already. Probably just chill for right now on this. He might have to recall soon. Okay. So these little ones, you just want to like try to run around, get your backstabs off on them when you can. They're pretty hard to get the backstabs off on. Like this requires a lot of practice, but yeah. Yeah, I was ready to go over. If he went, if he took that, I'm going over and take and killing him. Would probably be a trade kill. All right, I'm gonna back right now. My um, buff or my golems just spawned. We started golems, so like, like I always say, golems is the most important camp that you have in your jungle. So always cycle your jungle around the golems. Move my team out to one. As you saw, like when I was backing, I had two wards on me. I dropped a ward before I backed because I wanted my team to be able to see this gank coming in. And I thought that there was a chance that he goes. So like, if I didn't drop this ward, he probably dies to this gank. Never mind, he dies anyway, because he's not really paying attention to the game. But <laughs> in general, that ward can save your mid laner like a decent amount of times. I'd say that saves your mid laner probably like seven times out of 10. Definitely worth it to put it down. My Balian rotated mid, and we're going to miss, like, a whole wave here. So I'll just take the wave, I guess. Uh, 
Okay. Bot Crab is up next. I have nothing to do right now, so I'm going to start gaining control around the crab. Actually, I should have dropped my pink there. Got his bone plating here. Okay. Get that kill real quick. Committed with our ult. We can um, just get crab here. I don't think we should do the infernal. It's like not the best play. We can, but it's it's a little bit risky. You know what? Let's just fucking do it anyway. If I got three off that or six off that, I would have definitely done it. I don't know. I said three, but let's just do it anyway. We're fine here. Millionaires roaming down. They should just go help that. I'll finish this dragon. Mm. Alright, let's just back off, boys. I'm getting a little too hyped up. On his next ult, we can make another play, but for right now, just chill. So, I didn't farm that much there. I just set up for the crab. Contesting crab is really important when you play jungle in general. Alright, and our Braum might die. I'm going to come try to help him here. Gonna use my uh, clone here, and we're gonna save our um, ignite for this guy. Actually, we're not gonna even use it. I don't think. Yeah. You gotta know like your cooldowns and your limitations. There, we just didn't need it, so no point of using it. Oh, actually, I have most. Um, I have most uh, CS on my team, so I had to just give him that farm. So this is a really good start for me. Pretty far ahead. Now your buy, your next buy is going to be attack speed boots, two long swords, and a pink ward. Yeah, just standard reasons. And I'm actually going to go top side here instead of to red red buff because this is where the crab is spawning, and I want to control that crab because I'm smart, stronger than the enemy jungler. I'm okay, so I'm stronger than the enemy jungler. Okay, he might die anyway. Hmm. I'm going to try to help them. I'm going to walk up here. Ooh. I'm coming, boys. Gonna try to kite out here. Wait, Malphite, just walk over here, bro. So I step back there, make sure that he can't get the um, thing. And now I'm just gonna go for crab. Malphite needed to just walk up there, but he didn't, so we might lose bottom. Okay, got a kill. Going to walk this way. We ended up killing the Lee Sin there. My Ignite was pretty wasted there. Our Brom really needs to walk bottom. Like, we're leaving this guy alone for way too much time. Okay. So, good start with Shaco. Now, this is extremely good because for Shaco, a lot of people don't really have the right mentality about Shaco. Shaco's the type of champion that, um, it's actually a late game, like, hyper carry is how you should view the champion as a jungler. It's not an early game champion at all. So, if you get early kills, you should be able to snowball pretty easily. Like, I've already snowballed to be pretty strong. And I'm going to be like a menace for a good portion of the game. Now, they have a decent team against me because they have uh, AD carries with jumps. Shaco, in general, is best against AD carries that don't have jumps, but it's fine. We can do some damage here anyway. We can definitely get to the point where we're one-shotting people. So 
So I'm gonna go for um, Ali here. It's the easiest kill. Okay, he kicked. We can stay on him. We can catch him here, I think. Gonna throw the clone one way. And I'm gonna walk the other. I actually misclicked there for a second, but it's okay. I don't think we should all chase like this, though. We'll take it. Let me pick up that soul, too. Nice. So that was a good counter gank. There, Ali had no combo, so just staying on him was better. If I tried to follow up all the way to the Kai'Sa, there's a chance that the Kai'Sa ults forward onto the Jin and they kill the Jin. So I just decided to play that fight um, pretty safely. And we're stronger than um, Lee Sin right now, like especially like if you look at the items that I'm bringing to that fight. I'm way stronger in that part of the game. So doing what we can. Bottom Crab just spawned. I will take this pink ward, and then I'm going to go for Bottom Crab. There's a very low chance that they actually can test the Bottom Crab because I'm so strong here. Alley Roam top. So Kaisa knows that I'm around here, so she's playing super safe. She was walking up to the wave, and then she turned around. I saw it on the minimap. How safe is she? That is the question. When I have ult, I can go for this. Just gonna set the clone on her first. Holy moly. I actually missed microed my champion and put myself in turret range for a second. This guy needs to block that guy's mobies for me. Okay, we're actually fine. I'm gonna go back and start hitting this again. We should be kind of careful about this. Because Leeson can be here. I'm just gonna hit turret. Okay, we gotta play back here. Play around Jin. Like, I'm actually kind of weak in this situation. Don't want him to, to feast me here. I'm running. Oh my god, please. Oh my god, the one minion auto. That's so unlucky, but whatever. We did our best there. I gave a pretty big shutdown, which sucks, but what can you do, man? What are you going to do? have a huge buy here, so I get Dustblade and I get my Sheen, so I'll have like pretty high one-shot potential on the AD carry now. Alright, so let's go here. I am so strong in comparison to Lisa now. No, this is one of the counters, but it's fine. We've gotten to the point where it doesn't matter anymore. It's not really a counter anymore. Just do this camp on the way. Just be efficient. Wait for my uh, team to set up. Should have let my Dustblade proc first, to be honest. We should just let me counter jungle this, get crab, and then do dragon when I'm a level 11. Okay, we're fighting. Malphite just hits, uh, just got his ult back up. Mm, I can't really contribute that much here. I'm gonna go for Ari first. I killed them all here. <laughs> Alright. We'll take it. That was like pretty int, dude. For a fucking high diamond almost master game. That was pretty int. I'm going to take turret and then I'll take dragon afterwards. Oh my god, I should have smited it. I knew that that was going to happen. Fuck. TP. Oh, Malphite ulted the wave? 
He did actually ult the wave. Yeah, going to it wouldn't have worked out. Getting the mid turret was, was good there. I just should have ran immediately. They're going to get a fire drake here. It's not the end of the world, though. They actually might not even get it. The thing is, Malphite needs to walk over, but he ulted either minions or something happened. I don't know what happened with his ult, but it was not good. That's for sure. I guess like Kaisa just assumed she was dead no matter what, but hmm. probably was not the case, to be honest. They're, they're not committing for this fire drake. They should have taken this fire drake for sure. I don't know why they're scared. Malphite's top without TP. 9-2 Shaco can steal. Get those backstabs off. Get my damage up. I'm going to use this and keep my Deceive up. Because I'm going to need it to fight. Alright, I almost have 150 stacks right now. So, in the driver's seat for sure this game. Let's see if he's coming to clear this. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Killed Ari. I'm gonna send the clone in first. Okay. Gonna drop this for us. Kept the um, clone on him the whole fight. Guess we can't do this. Guess I should have just hit mid turret there. Got greedy for the kill. You gotta control the greed when you're playing this champion. Okay, so next objective is Rift Herald. We should get that off the map before 20. Okay, this guy took my Gromp. Whatever, it's fine. I have my Triforce anyway. So your build is gonna be Dustblade um, into Triforce after Tiamat. Just the, this is like the, the go-to Shaco build. Every Shaco player builds the same items that's like in high or low because there's only one build that you can really go to be effective on this champion, and this is it. Um, essentially, completing the jungle item doesn't give you as much as like the Dustblade proc. You essentially just need the proc from the Dustblade. Even though Dustblade is less damage overall for the burst, um, Dustblade is just king. All right, so let's go over here. Take Rift Herald. Damn, hit me anyway. It's fine. What even happened here? So I step back with my main one just to guarantee that this works. So yeah, obviously you prioritize your um, main champion over your clone when you're microing. It takes a lot of like discipline to be able to micro the clone, like, and it takes practice. Like, unless you, that, that's why that there's not that many people that play Shaco. Like, you either main Shaco or you don't play it at all because it doesn't require like an insane amount of mechanics, but it's just like weird mechanics that you won't develop from not playing Shaco. Like, there's not many um, champions besides for like Iron and Shaco that require multi-unit micro, so. That is the main thing that um, determines whether you'll be like an insane shaker or just like a, you know, pretty decent shaker. All right. So, uh, let's go over here. I'm probably going to go for Last Whisper into um, GA for this game specifically. I'm going to need the Last Whisper versus... Um, Cho'Gath, that's just how this shit goes. Yeah, they were respawning, so dropping Rift Herald mid was not the best play there. It's better to hold it out. Sell. Um, yeah, let's get Last Whisper. We'll go into Lord Dominic's. Actually, here, this is like where I sell my machete. Normally, you don't want to sell your machete, but Chago's like a, an exception to that rule. You just want as much damage as possible on this champion. Damage is the key. 
If you have damage on this champion, then you'll be a god. If you can't one-shot people, then you're useless. Because you don't provide anything else, really. Like, you provide, like, a little bit of CC with boxes, but it's janky CC. It's not reliable at all. Actually, I didn't need to ignite him there. I just thought that he was going to potentially flash away after and get, like, another R and I wouldn't be able to get into range. Yeah, you want to open up on people's backs if you can. I'm not sure if I got it off there. But it looks like I might not have. I'm coming mid. They have no Ari. This guy's dead. Summon Rift Herald here. Because they're all dead. Ari's no ult. I can probably get a pick here. You put the box in front to block the charm. Ooh, that was actually misplayed by me. Wait, what happened to my uh, clone? It just like stopped moving. It got CC'd and then it just wasn't responding for a second. Well, I could have uh, killed him. I shouldn't have ulted so quick. I was trying to get the double combo where you just Q, um, you Q, you auto, get a dust blade proc, then you ult, get another dust blade proc, but it didn't get off there. So that was just pretty troll to be honest. Like I was just, I just went for that for like the big play. 15 and three right now though. So definitely a strong game so far. Let's back up guys. If we all die, they might get Baron. Like I'm not, my death is not going to give them Baron, but if we all die, then I'm going to have to try to steal Baron 1v5. Which I don't necessarily want to do. So we got our last whisper. We have our BF sword. We're going to go to GA here. And then we're good. Alright. Let's move out. Start setting things up. Ooh, we're fighting pretty hard. I do this camp like almost instantly, so I'll just take it anyway. Plus, I get a little bit of movement speed boost from Phage, so not bad. Going to hit this. I think somebody might go far mid. Actually, we can just do this right now. This is like a kind of risky play. Actually, Lee Sin's far. I'm going to ult for it then. At least in state and base, so we can get this before he gets here. Look at that damage. That's the Dark Harvest proc right there. Seven hundred and eighty damage right there. All right, man. This is a uh, quite the pop off. Well, this is my specialty pick, man. This is my my Shaco. Hope you guys enjoyed it and you learned something about how the champion works. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Eighteen and three, not bad, not bad. Actually, before I say I'll see you guys next time, let me just check the damage charts because I saw a comment in my last video because I, I do actually read my comments saying they wanted to see damage charts after the games, so. Let's do that for you guys right here. What ELO is this? It's D1. D1, like some, some players are going to be master in this game. About to promote here. Yeah. Yeah, once you, if you snowball with this champion, it becomes insane. But, yeah, let's see. 
Ooh. Mastery token. 27k damage. Not bad. I know like some people like the graphs better, so we'll show that. But yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Flame me for pricing tab or whatever you want to do. But yeah. Uh, interact with the video, man. It helps me out. Helps out the YouTube, uh, YouTube algorithm, all that stuff. I'll see you guys next time.